Welcome back you guys to another video. Two weeks ago I had released a video of Peter Thiel's new SPAC for 2021 that will go by the name of Bridgetown 2 Holdings. In the video there was a typo for the ticker symbol in the article where I pulled the source from. Yesterday the Nasdaq confirmed the ticker symbol. Bridgetown 2 Holdings will be trading under the ticker symbol BTNB. I just want to clarify the ticker symbol for those following this deal. If you watched the previous video, this video is the same as the previous with the new updated information. If you didn't watch that video, you're in for a new investing opportunity. If you're a big fan of making money and Peter Thiel, here is the latest news on his new investments. If you have been following my Peter Thiel updates, you now know that he is in talks with Tokopedia for a possible SPAC merger. This video has nothing to do with that merger. Peter Thiel is releasing a second new SPAC and I haven't seen anyone talking about it. He's raising money once again for a new SPAC in 2021 with his partner Richard Lee. If you haven't seen any of my other Peter Thiel updates, click on the card above to see those videos. Make sure to watch until the end of the video for the new ticker symbol to be added into your watch list. If you're new here, welcome to Options Temple where we attempt to enter our trades and investments at the best possible time. Make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to join our Options Temple community. And as always, timing is everything. Get notified so that you don't miss an opportunity. In this article from Deal Street Asia on January 5th, it states that Peter Thiel and Richard Lee is backing a second Southeast Asia focus SPAC raising $200 million in a US IPO. For those of you who are not familiar with Peter Thiel, Peter Andreas Thiel is a German-American billionaire entrepreneur and venture capitalist, a co-founder of PayPal, Palantir Technologies, and Founders Fund. He was the first outside investor in Facebook. He was ranked number four on the Forbes Midas list of 2014 with a net worth of $2.2 billion and number 391 on the Forbes 400 in 2020 with a net worth of $2.1 billion. Billionaires Peter Thiel and Richard Lee have once again teamed up to launch a second blank check company that is now seeking to raise $200 million in an initial public offering in the US. Bridgetown 2 Holdings, the special purpose acquisition company formed by Thiel's Thiel Capital and Lee's Pacific Century, targets new economy technology, financial services, and media companies in Southeast Asia. The filing lodged at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission comes barely three months after the two billionaires first back, Bridgetown Holdings Limited, raised $595 million in a U.S. IPO in October, making the biggest SPAC focused on Southeast Asia. SPACs are companies with op operations that are formed only to raise capital to acquire other businesses. Merging with a SPAC has become an increasingly popular method for closely held businesses to raise capital for growth. In the latest filing, Bridgetown 2, which is based in Hong Kong, plans to raise $200 million by offering 20 million shares at $10 a piece. At the proposed deal size, the company will command a market value of $256 million. Unlike most SPACs though, Bridgetown 2's offering will not contain warrants. The company said it intends to focus on a target with operations or prospective operations in the technology, financial services, or media sectors, which it refers to as the new economy sectors in Southeast Asia. We believe that Southeast Asia is entering a new era of economic growth particularly in the new economy sectors, which we expect will result in attractive initial businesses combination opportunities for attractive risk adjusted returns, the SPAC said. According to a recent report released by Google, Temasek, and Bain & Company, Southeast Asia's internet economy has crossed the $100 billion mark in 2019 and is poised to triple to an estimated $300 billion by 2025. The SPAC said it may also explore compelling opportunities in Southeast Asia. Bridgetown 2 is led by CEO, CFO, and Director Daniel Wong, who serves as the SVP of Pacific Century Group, and Chairman Matt Danzazian, who is Head of Private Investments at Teal Capital. Bridgetown 2 joins a list of SPACs that have raised or are raising funds through IPOs. 
Earlier, Vickers Vantage, a Singapore-based blank check company formed by venture capital firm Vickers Venture Partners, announced plans to raise about $100 million in a U.S. IPO. Taiga Acquisition and Aspirational Consumer Lifestyle Corporation, both Singapore-based, have also filed to raise $200 million and $225 million IPO in the U.S. SPACs typically acquire firms as quickly as four to five months. They are given up to two years to seek targets. If they can fulfill the mandate, they will have to return all the money to the public shareholders. The new SPAC will be listed on the NASDAQ under the symbol BTNB and currently is in a release date for the new SPAC. Make sure to subscribe to get the latest updates. Based on the numbers, I'm eager to invest in these companies. I will be following Peter Thiel closely to diversify my portfolio and adding these emerging market opportunities. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video or found this information useful, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to see more trading and investing ideas. I'm not a financial advisor and this is for entertainment purposes only. And as always, timing is everything. Get notified so that you don't miss an opportunity.